Welcome to Mark Reed 757 and this is my weight loss journey. Today we're going to be talking about dealing with negative people. I, like all of you, have dealt with my fair share of negative people. Don't mistake constructive criticism with negativity. Uh, I love criticism. It helps me get better. A lot of times people will take the criticism and mistake it for negativity and when you do that you miss out on a lot sometimes when um, people are giving you the good criticism it could actually help you in your journey and it would go along with what you're trying to accomplish so why would you take that as a negative I mean I, I do my best to open my mind up to the possibilities of anything you know I, I I usually go with the open book policy um, even when the criticism is not helpful you can put it in your memory banks and potentially save it for later and I'm not talking about the complete negative uh, people in your life because yeah that one you can just ignore move on don't respond to just you know don't don't even let them bother you. Uh, another way to deal with them is, you know, the old saying, kill them with kindness. Uh, you know, I, I've done that myself. I, I drive down the road and say somebody, uh, say I accidentally cut somebody off. And I don't do it on purpose. I mean, sometimes you just don't see people. Maybe there's a tree in the way, other cars. But then you get somebody that that happens to them and they feel like well I was there I should have been there and they're honking their horn at you and giving you the one finger salute and um, I just wave at them and say hey you know hey there go have a nice day because a lot of times I end up seeing them at the stoplight at the next stop um, that's the only way I could deal with that because you know if you get all mad today people got guns and everything you know it's just not worth it um, YouTube and Facebook are a lot different with the negativity than, you know, regular life, obviously. I have a feeling that a lot of the people that have a bunch of negative comments on YouTube and on Facebook and all the other social media outlets that I don't want to name them all because there's so many, um, I believe a lot of them ones that make the negative comments are just at a real bad place, and I, you know, I pray for them. You know, I don't respond to them because they're out fishing. They're like, hey, look, I feel horrible and bad, and I want to make as many other people miserable as possible. Well, I don't want to fall for that, so I just, I don't respond to them. And if you have a good, loyal following, they're going to respond anyway. Not that they have to. I don't know. It just seems like that's in people's nature. You know, they want to. Uh, some are, have the hero complex and some have the villain complex. I have the, I'm going to deal with what I need to deal with and I don't need anybody to stand up for me, but I do appreciate when people do stand up. So it's, you know, to each his own. I am going to go off base slightly. Uh, I have, I went to the disc golf course today. Um, I would go disc golf. I've been going disc golfing since 2004. And the local course that I always go to, the NFL, happened, you know, we're, I'm in Canton, Ohio, so it's home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Well, the NFL bought a big chunk of land. And when they bought this big chunk of land, they built over some wetlands that were supposed to be reserved for nature and when they do that they have to replace the wetland somewhere else and the place they figured to replace it was on the disc golf course that I love well you know a lot of us disc golfers we were immensely disappointed because that's the course we've been going to for years now and but we, we all got together and we, you know, we got in contact with the city. We have the local club. They got in contact with the city. And they're like, hey, look, man, we understand. That's what you got to do. But we love playing here. 
you, you love having people go to the parks. We want to continue going to the park. Can we reroute this and, you know, make this uh, something good come out of it? So that's what I was doing is helping today. I, did, I couldn't do a whole lot. I put, pitched in two hours, brought all three of my kids, and we, we were helping clear some paths so we can throw at those particular spots. And the whole reason I wanted to go off onto this tangent was it was amazing to see how many people came out for that effort. I mean, the human spirit is just amazing. And I, I just love it. Just like this uh, community here, it's been more than amazing for me. Um, I've been on a downtrend on my weight, and I, I don't believe I could have done it without uh, all of your help and all of you uh, commenting on mine and me commenting with you. I've, I've learned so much by watching other channels, just as I'm sure some people have learned by watching my channel. I do have a question. What have you done with the negativity in your own YouTube channels or in your own life or any other social media outlet? Um, have you ignored it or have you dealt with it some other ways? Anyway, put the comments down below, and I'll be seeing you in uh, tomorrow's video, which is going to be doing more with less time. Just something I came up with. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow.